Continuing to field questions for you, Samili. I have a student who says his exam is in two weeks, and he says he has no time. He wants to know which uh, of my high yield PDFs he should go through. I know many of you watching this will your exam for step one or step two will be at varying lengths of time. Maybe it's in two weeks. Maybe it's in two months. So which high yield PDFs should you look at? The answer is obviously do all of them. But if you're crunched for time, for step one. No fucking excuses. You need to know high yield arrows PDF. And I want you going through that at least twice, okay? It's a difficult PDF to get through. Um, I would say if you can make inroads 20 questions per day, that's very good, all right? If you're two weeks out, you're obviously not going to have a lot of time, so you should blast that PDF as much as you can. If you're, if you're having significant struggles getting through high yield arrows PDF, then you might not be ready to sit the USMLE, okay? Because that PDF, making sure you know it well, is going to be pretty indicative of do you have your basic concepts down. It's to my observation that if any student ever fails the step one, it's because his or her concept of basic hormones, uh, which direction electrolytes should go in certain situations, arrows for shock, acid base, etc. Uh, the student's uh, knowledge of that material will suck jack fucking shit. So you need to make sure you know high yield arrows. That's by far and away the most important PDF I've synthesized. But then, of course, my other PDFs are all helpful. I mean, if you suck at cardio, go through the cardio PDF. Students tend to like the biochem, immuno, and neuroanatomy PDFs the most. That's my observation on Reddit. Those are the ones that are most frequently discussed. Um, and that's not an accident. I'm aware that my writing style for those PDFs was different. I mean, I those are lengthier PDFs. So it's not my fucking opinion as to which PDF you should like the most the market decides, okay? You guys will decide what content you like. That's how it works. I don't get to decide. So students tend to like the biochem, immuno, and neuroanatomy PDFs because they're lengthier, they're more comprehensive. But my other PDFs like cardio, renal, endocrine, etc., they're bullet points. I mean, they cut to the fucking chase. They're very, they're valuable. I've had students rave about those PDFs to me, okay? I mean, um, but once again, I articulate that it tends to be the biochem, immuno, and neuroanatomy that are most frequently discussed uh, on public forums. But uh, high yield arrows, I really want you guys to push as important, and not just arbitrarily, but go through the fucking PDF yourself, do it a couple times, you're going to sit your exam, and you're going to be like, wow, that PDF saved my fucking ass. And then you can be like, you should do Melman Medical High Yield PDF, right? For arrows, right? So those PDFs, you're going to consolidate on them around the NBME exams. I've made lots of clips as far as, of course, you're going to uh, end your prep during dedicated going through the NBMEs. You're going to be weaving in uh, my PDFs. Uh, but for the step one, make sure you know high yield arrows. For the step two, you're obviously going to go through the clinical rotation based PDFs, OBSGYNE, PEDS, etc. Okay. Just knock out that reading. It cuts to the fucking chase. My PDFs not superfluous like many other resources. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.